Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk to you a little bit about presets inside of On One Photo Raw 2018. I want to show you how you can make a preset, where to find your presets, and also how to copy and paste settings from one photo onto multiple photos at the same time. So to get started I'm actually in my browse module inside of On One Photo Raw. And to access my presets there's three different places that you can access your presets. You can access your presets by going over here to your left side pane inside of Browse and selecting Presets. You can also find that same pane inside of Develop and inside of Effects. And if you want to add a preset to your photo, all you need to do is click on the group here. It'll pull up previews of the preset that you're going to add. And if you want to see a larger preview, you can click on this button here and it'll pull up a larger preview of that preset that's going to be applied to your photo. Once you see one that you like, you can simply click on it and it'll apply that effect to your photo. Different presets add different effects onto your photo. For example, this preset added a color enhancer, a tone enhancer, and a black and white filter onto my photo. If I find a different preset, it'll apply a different filter onto my photo. And so on and so forth. So let's grab a preset from our preset options here so we can start getting creative and making our own. So I'm just going to add Forest Park. And you'll see that if I have this effect applied, I can always re-edit it or adjust it how I please and then create a new preset out of that. So let's add another filter and let's add the sunshine filter. And then let's also add a black and white just to get a little creative with our looks. So now what I wanna do is I wanna save these settings as a preset so that I can access it later. To do that, all I need to do is go to settings and select save settings as preset. Once you select that, you'll have a dialog box pop up to where you can control where your preset is saved, what the name of it is, and also which controls you want saved into the preset. So I'm just going to name this new. And I'm going to add a category, preset. And down here you'll see what to save. You'll have all your settings, which is the develop settings, the effect settings. If you've made any gradient masks or adjustable gradient tools, you can also save those into the preset as well. But for the simplicity of the video, we really didn't do anything with develop. So let's click off develop. And now the only thing that's going to be saved into the preset is the effect settings. So now let's save that preset. And let's hit F on our keyboard to access our film strip so we can grab another photo. And let's grab this photo here. And now if we head over to our presets again and go to preset and new, it'll apply that preset right under our photo. And say down the line, you know, you're working on some photos and you realize you want to update this preset to sort of a new style. All you need to do is if you add some different filters, let's just add maybe a border and let's also go into develop and let's just turn down the exposure a little bit and then brighten the shadows just to give it a unique look. So now that we have different settings applied to our photo, if we want to update our preset with those settings, all we need to do is right click on the preset that's selected and update preset with current settings. Now the preset will update with the current settings that are applied to the photo right now. You have the same options you did earlier where you can save which settings you want to be applied. But we have both develop and effect settings applied, so let's hit update. Now if we go back and find a new photo, let's say that one. Now if we add this preset onto our photo, it will apply the settings that we updated earlier onto our photo. So now that we have a unique look applied to our photo, now what we can do is we can apply that unique look to a group of photos at the same time. Say we came back from a shoot and we want to apply that unique style to every one of our photos. We can do that easily inside of On One Photo Raw. The first way to do it is you can do it inside of the develop or effects module and also the browse module if you want 
by using the film strip view mode. So if I hit F on my keyboard, it'll pull up the film strip view mode. Now I have all of the photos within that folder and I can click the ones that I want the effect to be applied to and then I can just hit sync. Now that effect will be applied to all of the photos at the same time. Now if we leave our film strip by hitting E on our keyboard and let's go back into browse. Let's go back to the grid view. And now let's just grab that photo and to copy and paste settings onto a group of photos at the same time, it's very easy. You can either hit shift command C on your keyboard to copy the settings. And then you can select the photos that you want that to be applied to. And you can hit shift command V. Or you could go up to settings, copy settings. And then once you have those settings copied, you could click on another photo and hit settings, paste settings. And it will paste those settings onto the photo for you. Using presets and copying and pasting settings onto multiple photos saves you a ton of time in your workflow, especially when you want to apply a unique look to a bunch of photos at the same time. So that's a little bit on how to use presets, where to find them, and also how to copy and paste settings onto different photos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dylan with On1 and stay tuned for more.